so it is that time of the year christmas holidays and richie brother auctions so i got my buddy chris here with me and we're gonna go see if we can't find ourselves a deal oh boy oh boy richie brothers all right here we are first thing we see a bunch of small items that's all you, bud. <laughs> that thing's probably be pretty fun, though. Yeah. Gosh, look at the little tires on it. It's quite big enough. Ride a wheelie on that thing. I wonder how much these little things go for. Little Briggs and Stratton's. There's ones with some tracks on it. Oh, these would be fun to have. Move dirt around the backyard. Well, this thing is a beast. World's biggest chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> Be pretty uh, expensive to replace these teeth on here, huh? But they're in pretty good shape. A conveyor belt. Looks like it's seen a little bit better days, though. Good lord, the auger bits. Yeah, that's about six foot tall on that thing. I need a four person auger for that. <laughs> Looks like it's uh, got a little bit of a problem there, eh? It's crazy how they just keep welding. Yeah. Hard ox welding for the. What is this guy? One of those things you stick down inside of a pipe to clean it, I'm guessing? Not really sure. Look at this thing. So I'm guessing I found the, the best aisle. I believe this is your in-op aisle. By the looks of some of these machines. A big old... Looks like a military forklift here. A little small ASV uh, track loaders. Let's see if this thing cranks up. Yeah, nothing. Okay. It says only 437 hours. That that can't be right though. That thing is definitely how many hours is on that one? 1172. Oh, maybe maybe it's right. That one's got is there a uh, neutral switch? It's definitely got a nice uh, gas cap on it. Yeah, that thing's screwed. Look at this. Look at this pile of death. <laughs> definitely inoperable right here. This thing has seen better days. Oh, I wonder if this cat will crank up. Let's see what we got. Are you looking for about this size? Uh, a tad smaller. Yeah. Yeah, nothing on it. I did uh, run one of these before, though. And, uh,. They're decent machines. Somebody got way ahead of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a gasoline engine on here. Yeah. No carburetor. Sad. It, it looks fairly new. I wonder what. Uh, wonder what happened to it. Wonder how much this thing goes for. Got another one here. This one's a. Uh, Definitely seen better days. Huh. Yeah, this guy has been here for a while. Yes, I would love to have one of these lifts like this. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, well. Oh. It's got power. 7,740 hours on it. I used to run one of these things all the time. Is that one electric? Yeah. 
Yeah, all the batteries are down there. Yeah, this one's all batteries. Well, it should run then. Let's uh, let's turn it on. I know, I forgot which one. No, nope, it's uh, top is blue. Okay. see if it goes anywhere no we're not moving you get anything on the bobcat uh, no I don't think the plug the glue plugs are working missing the bucket but Oops. Curious to uh, see how much this one goes for. It's it's got to be fuel related because uh, I mean there's no there's no smoke coming out of the exhaust. It's yeah. probably something simple with this one. Somebody's been in there probably spraying ether in that crack there. So here's a uh, is this fuel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something something's not getting fuel on it. Yeah, I, I'd really like to have a little lift like this. It's not, I can get all the other functions to work, but no drive. Probably something simple though. We'll see how much this one goes for. A Dragon tractor. Comes equipped with a first aid kit as well. Yeah, this one runs pretty good. Tractor. It does run decent though, I guess. I mean, it's four wheel drive. Four drive. We'll see how much this guy goes for. I don't see an hour meter on it anywhere though. PTO, PTO three point, big old toolbox. This is probably uh, got an issue of Friday in there. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking! <laughs> wow, look at this thing. Check this guy out. Oh my gosh, what was that? Dropped out of a helicopter? <laughs> it looks like Whistling Diesel has gotten a hold of this guy. Wow. Oh my gosh, this thing was seriously like, it rolled Got it good, really, really good. I'm, I'm guessing the, the operator wasn't Oh man, I bet you the operator on this thing didn't fare too well, unless he jumped out. And that's a pretty nice crane setup too. Look at that thing. What a beast. Look what we got here, a little deuce and a half. Actually, I don't think this is a decent and a half. For how much this guy will go for? It's got brand new love nuts. It's got a refrigeration unit on it. Thermo King, most likely a Yamar on there. Oh, it's got power. Eep, eep. <laughs> it wants to go. How do you get races? Yes. Anything. Says we have enough charge on it, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, something's going on with it. This John Deere looks like it has been, in, been sitting with the hood up for a long time. Now that is one fine hubcap they got there. Cardboard. Interesting. <laughs> Can anybody tell me what this doodad is for? Like some kind of hydraulic ram that you hook up to basically, I guess you hook it up to here. Some way to push the wires or extend it, who knows. Got a drilling rig here. Somebody lost a. <laughs> Somebody lost the tire. She's leaking a little oil, but not bad. Look at the leveling system on this thing. It basically has these hydraulic cylinders, and it just kind of levels it. It's pretty cool. It's a beast of a dump truck, eh? This is a little mini excavator I might be interested in. That's another IHI. Just like what I got. It's a little bit bigger. Well, I got a thousand forty-five hours. Yeah, I might look at this one. I kind of like this one. Undercarriage looks decent on it. And the tracks are kind of messed up, but you still got some life on those. I mean, it's got, it's not bad either. Got a little sort of a quick coupler on it. I'll have to get a bigger bucket for the thing, but overall, I kind of like it. I like this. No ether. <laughs> well, those the engine wires really don't need ether. They're, they're pretty good engines. Really. That's what Andrew Camerata has. IHI CL35. Take a look at this one.
I kind of like this one too. I might look at both these machines. You get the sticker. Then we'll have a IHI collection. This guy's sitting sideways. <laughs> Oh boy. Look at the bucket on this thing. Wow. Yeah, this thing was uh, probably moving some firewood is what it looks like. Its whole job was just moving firewood. It's got some rust holes on it too. It's not a really thick bucket, but it's a, it's a big one. Yeah, this one's all you, bud. Yeah. We got going yeah, on you can, here. You can clear some stuff with this. Look at the heads on it. Yeah, it's missing all the carbide teeth on it though. Yeah. So that would be pretty expensive to replace. I wonder why they pulled them all off. You can't run. Probably it. put on another machine. Most likely. Probably put on their new machine. It's not bad though. How many hours does this guy have on it? Uh, it's missing the key. Yeah, these things live rough lives. Yeah, they do. Can't tell what kind of engine it's rocking either. Another pretty much identical IHI machine. Same exact thing. This one has 926 hours, so just a little bit less hours. Okay, from the same company. Yeah. Cranks right up though. Sounds good. It's not bad. I'll look at this one too. Seven diesel. How many miles does it have on it? Uh, Two fifty-eight. Two hundred fifty-eight thousand. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Got all the bells and whistles. That was great. Let's see how much this one goes for. Yeah. This one right here will fit you good though. Yeah. How much? How much do you guess this one will go for? Uh, twenty twenty-five at least, right? Twenty twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe more. I don't know. I'd say probably right at right at about twenty twenty thousand. The way the truck market is now. Yeah, it's went down a good bit. All these. I got like tons of these black JLG lifts here. Probably ain't gonna do nothing without that key on, but oh, we got lights. It's a company called Perk Entertainment Services. Perk Entertainment? Perk, H E R C. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna have to switch this probably off. I got lights on, but. Take a look at this uh, Kubota. Came straight from Home Depot is what it looks like. Yeah, nothing on this one. Can't even see how many hours it has. Still might take a look at it though.
guess you gotta be sitting in this seat. Some little safety switch not making contact. So guys, I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying this. It only sold for $5,000, which I think is very reasonable for this machine with the hours, even though I'm really not a huge fan of Bobcat. On the listing, it said that the right drive didn't track, but I got it to track on site, so... Like this. I guess you can get out either side. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. about the same size as the one I got right now, so. It is pretty wide, though. Look how, I mean, the tracks go pretty wide for the machine. I guess it's pretty stable. I really have been wanting to get one of these little compact backhoe front loader tractors. Yeah, that one's good. Only 366 hours on it. This one goes for, but probably too much. I'm betting this conveyor system here will probably go for next to nothing. I mean, because really, who needs it? I'm guessing that came from the paper mill. It is rusted out. Good lord. Still has the paper on it. Somebody's missing their bucket, eh? Yeah, this thing looks... These look pretty clapped out. This thing is awesome. Definitely a military United States Marine Corps machine. Not a lot of hours on it. 471. That's it? Yeah. There's no way it could be. But they really don't run these things long. It's not in bad shape, it's just it's probably been sitting a long yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. I wonder what that ledge will pull. I wonder how much this guy will go for. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get this one to crank up. That would have been fun to drive around. Maruka.
Puffed out a good bit of blue smoke though, huh? Try out this Komatsu. Come on, buddy. Oh. That's a little weird door. So I've been really wanting one of these heated pressure washers, but these are just a little bit too new for my liking. Yeah, I guess this is for the power company to, to pull cable. Ooh. I wonder if this thing even runs. Nothing at all. It's pretty awesome. Got these cables here to pull this boom up. Now that's a bucket lift right there. That is definitely for I'm guessing the power company to get on the the high wire lines. I wonder how many feet that goes up. Yeah. Solid tires right there. Those look fun to replace. They're not in, I guess they take, almost looks like they take regular tires and then just kind of cut the treads off the sides. I mean, the undercarriage looks good on this thing though. Fun there, bud? <laughs> he got it. He just had to put the seatbelt on. Unfortunately, I can't get this one to move. The parking button is broke on it, so. Yeah, this is more my style right here. Let's see if she does anything. No, she's dead. Take a quick look though. The engine don't look bad. All right, they're closing up on us here, so looks like our fun has ended. Take a look at this one though. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see if I get anything, but this is the end of our day at Rishi Brothers Auctions.
take this out. Got a car and a dolly there. Got another car, all hooked to an express van. It's pretty funny. How they got that hooked up. Got this one hooked to a tow dolly. Wow, it's just chained to the bumper. Interesting. We got it. We just bought a